A classic tale of technology coming to the rescue. While the entire country prepares for package deliveries by drones and air taxis, a drone helps save the life of a 16-month-old child in Telangana. Cyclone Gulab blasted coastal Telangana earlier this week, and among those impacted was a family in Kurti village of Kamaradi district. The family's 16-month-old child fell ill during the cyclone, and there was no way for him to access medical help. A drone came to their rescue. After a few trial runs, the medicine-laden drone flew across the swollen river Manjira and successfully delivered the medicines. The parents had been in contact with a local government doctor who informed the Kamaradi DM's office. Officials reportedly rushed to the area with the drone and the medicines. This is one of the first instances of drones being used in remote areas to deliver medicines, part of the government's ambitious drone policy. The drones open, open up immense possibilities. The common man living in these remote areas will straight away get these benefits and supply of vaccines or medicines or other pharmaceutical products is, is one example of that. So please come forward. Earlier this month, Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya had launched Telangana government's Medicine from the Sky project. The project is being implemented across the other states as well, particularly in areas with difficult access. Bureau report, Business Today Television. Well, it's no secret that tech companies are investing in foldable technology and Samsung seems to have gotten a head start in the segment. If the recent launches of the Fold 3 and Flip 3 are anything to go by, then Samsung means business. Our tech editor Ayush Alwadi tells us all about what makes these devices so unique. So while we tell you a little bit more about the phone, Adios. Both the Fold 3 and Flip 3 come with a flagship chip, Snapdragon 888, high-end 120Hz displays and fairly decent cameras. But to make these devices more mainstream, they need to pass the durability and affordability test. Both devices definitely aren't cheap. The Fold 3 now comes at 1,49,999 rupees and the Flip 3 costs 84,999 rupees. Samsung's R&D team has worked on the main USB of these devices, which is the hinge. Yes, the crease is still visible, but by using a pressure-sensitive adhesive on the hinge, the foldable devices are IPX8 water-resistant. That means the devices can withstand 5 feet of fresh water for 30 minutes. But can they survive our trial by water? So now that you know a little bit more about the Fold and the Flip phones, well, this is the moment of truth, what you've all been waiting for. By the way, in that time, I flipped them around, literally, so that they'd be wet on both sides. Some interesting tech here on the hinge. The Flip has survived our water test. And now it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. The Fold is also still alive. I'm going to keep testing them. And if you want to actually get an in-depth review, then stay tuned to Business Today for more.